The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> with a, uh, a female uh, on 420, which was yesterday. Let's jump straight into it. Um, you, you already know, man, when alcohol and certain substance, substance get involved, man, you know people don't know how to act. Um, it looked like Lil Reese was at a, a 420 event, um, and you could see that the female was uh, in a car and Lil Reese was standing in the street arguing with her. Uh, you could clearly see on the video the female got out of the car and she walked up on Lil Reese. Um, and then, you know, pretty much, um, you know, she walked up on him and she like pushed him and she like, she like snugged him. People got in the middle of her and Lil Reese and she pretty much grabbed Lil Reese chain. Now, I'm be honest with you. If Lil Reese would have had some of that flimsy little fake jewelry and not one of them Cuban locks, y'all know them Cuban chains that the rappers be wearing with them big locks on it, man, she would have snatched that man chain off. But for all the people that just tapping in, man, Lil Reese was involved in an altercation yesterday and 420 uh, in Chicago. Um, but for y'all that, that don't believe me, as y'all can see right here, clearly, Lil Reese right here, um, uh, as you can see, that's his chain right there. She was trying to snatch, but she couldn't get it off of his neck. As y'all can clearly see, the police was involved and everything. But yeah, the lady was trying to get Lil Reese chain up off his neck, man, but... I got to give Lil Reese his credit, you know, whether it, whether because he he on still on probation for his issue that he got going on in Texas or whatever it is, you know, Lil Reese handled himself respectfully, man. He didn't put his hand on the lady, you know, even if, even when she had his chain, man, Lil Reese didn't put his hands on her at all. As we know in the past, you know, Lil Reese didn't had his hiccups dealing with females in public. And it definitely didn't go too well. So I definitely got to give Lil Reese his credit for not putting his hands on her. But whatever he said to her that got her rowdy like that, that lady, man, she was she was all with it, man. But if, if it wouldn't have been people to get in the middle of it and police there, Lil Reese probably would have had to deal with what he had to do because that lady, man, she was aggressive. And once again... She had Lil Reese by his, his, his uh, Cuban chain. So Lil Reese... What can you do? You know, if you know if she holding you by your Cuban chain, man, you gotta go towards her. But as you can see, see, she was she was holding him by his Cuban chain. You see, so he ain't had no choice. He couldn't do nothing. But he didn't physically put his hands on it. As y'all can see, um, show y'all a little clip of it. But as y'all can see, the police was involved. They had to get involved. But Lil Reese was at a 420 event. Um, in Chicago, and uh, he got into an altercation with a stud female, and like I said, I don't know what he said to the lady that got her like that, but man, she went crazy, man. She she went crazy, man. She she went playing with Lil Reese, but Lil Reese respectfully, he didn't put his hands on or anything like that. But once again, she had his Cuban chain, so it was nothing that he could do. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't put his hands on her. But the police de-escalated the situation, and it was a bunch of females, but. She wanted that smoke with Lil Reese, man. I don't know what he said or what he did to her, man, but she wanted that she wanted that smoke with Lil Reese, man. She wanted that smoke with him. I don't, like I said, say again, I don't, I don't know what Lil Reese did, but as y'all can clearly see from the picture, y'all can see she holding on to his Cuban chain. Y'all see that? Y'all can see her getting out the car. Y'all see her right there? Y'all can see, y'all can see Lil Reese. But as y'all can see, look, y'all about to see her get out the car and walk straight. Y'all see Lil Reese right there? Y'all see he being calm? Look, y'all see the lady? She getting out the car. She about to walk straight towards him. Look, you see? She about to walk straight towards him. And then that's when this whole whole situation de-escalated. But as y'all can see, you see? The lady, she got out of the car and approached Lil Reese. Lil Reese was just chilling. Of course, they going back and forth. I don't know what he said to her. I don't know what he said to her, but as y'all can see, see Lil Reese being calm. Y'all see, she got out the car and walked towards Lil Reese. Y'all see, y'all see, she she was trying to snatch it. I ain't gonna say snatch his chain off his neck, but she had him by his chain. And Lil Reese didn't put his hands on her, so I got to give Lil Reese his credit. But nowadays, man, everybody, this, 
this clout, man, and this this internet fame is a mug, man, because it seemed like if you got a name and you got a buzz out here, it's like people just willingly trying you now. It's like nobody care about what may happen or the outcome of it. All people care about is going viral. Like this female, yeah, you about to go viral, but what if it would have been the case where Lil Reese, one of his homies or something, would have upped on you, you know what I'm saying, or or something like that. Or you might seriously get hurt after this situation. because You know what I'm saying? Like people don't realize the situation that they put themselves in by playing with a lot of these people, but everything's about going viral. Everything's about having some clout, some fame and all of that. That 10 minutes of fame or five minutes of fame, that jump can really cost you your life. As you can clearly see from the video I just showed y'all, the lady got out of the car and approached Lil Reese. You get what I'm saying? Like, what if one of Lil Reese guys or somebody would have upped on her or whatever the case may be? You get what I'm saying? Like, People don't realize the type of situations they put themselves in, man, for fame and for fortune. At the end of the day, and another thing too, man, I don't know when these females, when, when, when y'all going to learn to stay in a woman's place, I constantly see where females keep running up on these dudes, keep playing with these dudes, you know, but then when y'all play with these dudes and then they put their hands on y'all, oh, they wrong, you shouldn't have did it, oh, he, 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 he a woman beater, this, this, and this, no, stay in a woman's place. If a, if a woman want to fight a woman, I, I don't promote violence, but do what you're going to do. But for females, y'all got to be careful running up on these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all running up on it like y'all heard y'all seen her. She got she had Lil Reese whole chain by his neck. Like that man could have did whatever he wanted to, man. But he really this time, bro. I gotta get Lil Reese's credit, man. Cause in the past, man, he didn't been on online giving women eight piece specials and all that. But over the years of him having daughters and all that, you could tell he calmed down and he learned not to do that, especially not in public. But he ain't pieced her up, man, and I got to get a little Reese's credit, man, but there's some dudes out there that would have really pieced that lady up, man. Y'all ladies got to be careful, man, how y'all approaching these dudes, man, when y'all running up on these dudes and y'all want to fight, y'all want to do all of that. When when, when y'all run up on these dudes, just be prepared for whatever happened. You know what I'm saying? And don't press charges, none of that neither. Because remember, y'all ran up on these dudes and y'all want to play because Lil Reese could have gave her an eight piece. But you see the females around Lil Reese, they was the ones that pieced her up. Thank God he had some females around her, you know. But if he would have had a young dude around him that was just eager to get Lil Reese's attention or or or, or uh, some quick little few little dollars or whatever it is, man, they could have really hurt that lady out there and it would have been all for what? For nothing, man. For nothing. But this is the day we live in where people want to constantly try these celebrities, man, because they got a name, they got a, 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 a status and all of that. And oh, if I do this, I'll go viral. I could turn this into a, some interviews or whatever it is. All right, you're going to mess around and get yourself hurt out here. So if, I'm going to say it again for all you ladies out there. Y'all be careful when y'all running up on these dudes, man, because a lot of times dudes ain't going to take it easy on y'all how Lil Reese did with this lady, man. Because like I said, again, this lady personally got out of the car and ran up on Lil Reese and, you know, and boop, 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 boop. And it was lucky that the police and it was other females there to get into the, get in the middle of it. Or Lil Reese probably would have had to piece her up. You know what I'm saying? But he wouldn't have been wrong because, like I say, she had his his Cuban his Cuban chain the whole time. And them choker chains, he ain't got no choice but to go with her. So if she probably wouldn't have had his chain, he probably would have just let the women handle her how they was doing because they was piecing her up. You know, but it being 420 and like I say, man, you know, when drugs and alcohol get involved, people don't know how to act, man. We constantly see this. This is why I try to tell the people, man, be careful when you're going out to these bars, these clubs and all of that, man, because a lot of times, man, people don't know how to just have a good time and go home, man, and, and, and wake up and have a, 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 a wonderful breakfast the next day. Some of these, sometimes, man, when these people go out, man, this be the last time they go out. This be the last thing they seen. But it's your boy D's Media signing out, man. But Lil Reese, man, was involved in an altercation in Chicago on 420. Uh, the lady tried to snatch his chain. She didn't. Uh, police was called. They had to the D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>